Hi, I'm Monica Gowardin, and I'm super excited to collaborate with Potucks, creating some really lovely regional Indian dishes to show you how accessible and amazing Indian food can be. So we'll get started with the first one. I'm cooking a prawn spatia, and it's a really simple dish with some really amazing flavors, including the Potucks Balti Spice Paste. So let's get started. I've got the pan nice and hot. Add two tablespoons of vegetable or sunflower oil to the pan. Make sure it's heated really nicely and also chop your onions really finely. Keep stirring as well while you're frying them. So you get them to soften nicely and also change color. Now this is the only step in the recipe that will actually take anywhere between 10 to 12 minutes. So you want to make sure you actually give it a little bit of time. So the onions are getting nice and brown. You want that really lovely caramelly color on it. I'm going to add just a few curry leaves about three or four curry leaves. I'm going to tear them in as well, just to release their flavor. And they'll start to sort of crackle as they cook. While the onions are browning slightly, what I'm going to do is just chop up some garlic. These are large cloves of garlic, so if you're using small cloves or medium cloves, I would suggest about six. Now the garlic needs, I'd say, no more than a minute to just fry in the pan. You want all the raw flavors of the garlic to actually come out. And along with the garlic, I'm also going to add one green chilli. What I tend to do is I take the chilli, the green chilli, I slit the chilli slightly, just not all the way through, just halfway. So what that does is actually encases all the seeds within the chilli and it still gives a nice sort of mellow heat to it. Fry that for about a minute. I'm going to add two tablespoons of the Patak's Balti paste. Now this paste itself actually has a really lovely concentrated flavor. And what I like about these pastes is they have this little bit of oil that actually oozes out as well, which is quite nice. And it's also got a lot of flavor. So add a little bit of that oil. You want to make sure it's mixed in really nicely. So give it a stir for a few seconds before you add your next ingredient. At this point, I'm going to add the prawns. Today I'm actually using king prawns, just shelled and de -veined. Just mix it in really well. And I'm going to season it as well with some salt. Now at this stage, I'm also going to add a little bit of water. Just to loosen it up ever so slightly. Now what you really want is that balance in Indian cooking, which I think is really, really crucial for most dishes, which is the salty, hot, spicy, sweet, tangy, all of it at the same time. So just a little bit of sugar here. So a good heaped teaspoon of sugar. Along with that, I'm also adding one of my favorite ingredients, which is the tamarind paste. Now this also lends a really lovely, rich, streakly, not just flavor, but color to the dish. And stir it in really nicely because you want that sour and sweet element to kind of come through in, in the patia. So you need to give it a good mix. Again, the color will deepen and richen really nicely. So that's mixed in really, really well. And you can see all the prawns are coated with the sauce. So at this point, I'm also going to add a few extra curry leaves, just the fresh curry leaves. I'm going to tear about two or three of those. And some coriander. So um, just a few sprigs of coriander leaves. Just tear the leaves roughly. You don't really need that much. And that's done. You have a really simple Parsi prawns party ready in no time. Serve this with some rice or even with some naan and uh, it's just the perfect one pot meal if you ask me. A super delicious dish and really easy to cook. For more details of this recipe and lots of curry tips, make sure to check out the brand new website for Partux at www.partux.co.uk.